Hello. If you've ever worked in or you've heard of e-commerce, you for sure have heard of Alibaba. And very recently, a team of theirs launched an AI agent and a sourcing engine and they invited me to try it. So this agentic engine ties into the whole Alibaba supplier network and basically automates and streamlines a whole chunk of that e-commerce workflow. And so I'm not just gonna show you the Axio agent and search engine in this video. Instead, I'm going to build a first of its kind tool that includes the Axio engine. So in real time, it's going to discover trends. It's gonna translate those into winning product concepts and then feed those into the Axio engine. So I'm gonna show you the agent I'm gonna go ahead and build that and I'm gonna give that to you for free. There's a Google Drive link in the description. If you click on that, you get all the code for everything that we're building today. And so if you watch through this video, you'll be able to automate the entire e-commerce workflow up to the point of receiving your first physical products. And in previous videos on this channel, we've gone over creating e-commerce storefronts with AI automatically. So what we're on the edge of here, if we combine this video and a few of the previous ones on this channel is all of e-commerce fully automated, which is pretty cool, I think. And that definitely wasn't possible just a few years ago. Now, side note, I'm in Switzerland. You may recognize the office here in this video. And if you hear the church bells in the background, that is the Swiss bells, which ring every hour. So that all said, I first want you to understand what exactly the Axio tool does. So I'm a fan of the Squid Game show, and it just came out recently. If you haven't heard of it, it's very popular right now. And if we wanted to translate the aesthetics of the show and the outfits into real world products that we could monetize and sell, so let's say bags, sneakers, and t-shirts, then the Axio agent could automate from start to finish the entirety of that process of translating this idea of ours into not just real world products and demos and visuals, but also actually draft messages to the best suppliers to bring those products to life for us. So let's go jump into that Squid Game demo right now. But before I do so, like I said, I got early access to this tool so I could share it with you. And I also got you an exclusive invitation code. So you can enter the code J-O-N-L-E-W at the link in the description to try out Axio for yourself. And keep in mind, there are only 100 spots available and this is only valid for 30 days. So if this remotely interests you, and I bet it does if you're watching this video, use the code and go hit that link in the description. And Axio as a whole is built on 25 years of B2B e-commerce expertise. That is real industry knowledge that is put to work to automate the tasks that matter to you. And this isn't something you could just replicate with any other AI model out there. It makes e-commerce a breeze. So I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but use the code and go hit the link in the description. And that said, let's jump into my computer. Okay, hello y'all, we're in the computer. Here is what the Axio kind of browser looks like here in the tool. So you can see, this little agent mode button. And this is not yet online. And to turn the agent mode on, once it's online, right, you go right here, you click, you turn on, and then it is ready to go agentically. And the agent aspect just means that this will go and do material things on the internet on your behalf. So it's not just answering a question like, ChatGPT, it's going in doing those tasks for you that you would otherwise normally do as part of your e-commerce workflow. So let's go back to that Squid Game idea. What I'm gonna paste here is since Squid Game on Netflix, again, season three is popular right now, I wanna design some products, help me figure out what kind of products can sell well and also generate the product design images. So that whole process of what should we sell based on this trend what is that gonna look like once it's out there? And then also the last step here is gonna be finding suppliers for that project. So agent mode is on, let's click search. So after I click search, the Axio agent immediately accepted my query, conducted a market analysis on Squid Games, and then broke down my complex procurement query into individual organized and manageable tasks. And then here's what that activities page looks like while it's running automatically. Okay, now we can see the visual product designs that have been generated here. So we have clothing, bags and accessories, lifestyle, and then packaging. And now it's on that final step of compiling a market analysis and product development recommendations. And boom, here are the results that are being generated. So we can see the product development plan with that summary market analysis and I'm looking forward again to those photos. And let's just scroll down. Here they are. I am a fan of this. Look at that. I'd like the suit design here, especially little board game. 
we have headphones or earphones, candle, knife, and some fashion. And we can scroll, we can see some of those elements from the Squid Game show. So your little cookies right there, watch, little passport and bag, home and office. And again, all of this was generated from one single prompt. So there you go. So in this case, we can see how Axio actually works and why it's such a perfect fit for e-commerce automation. And a note as well, this AI agent actually understands the context of these products. And that's why you can throw complex requests at it. Like I need eco-friendly packaging for my skincare line that ships to both US and EU markets with different regulations. And it'll break that down, find the right suppliers. So I want to show you more on the supplier and the inquiry side. So let's head back out to home here and then we'll make sure agent mode is turned on. We'll say, Hey, I need eco-friendly packaging for my skin skincare line. I want you to provide a design, find the supplier and send an inquiry on my behalf. Let's let that go. Okay. So let's walk through these results. We can see a summary of our request for eco-friendly packaging for skincare products. And then we have the U S regulatory framework. So the FPLA, FTC, the EU regulations, which is notoriously difficult. Then we have trends in the market there. And this is interesting. 90% of consumers are more likely to buy from brands with sustainable packaging. And then similarly, we got design concepts here for a range of different products with unique features. And then this is my favorite part personally. Again, this is where this directly ties into these databases like Alibaba and AliExpress. So here are glass packaging suppliers, aluminum uh, suppliers, uh, and so on through say airless. And then it looks through those suppliers for us. And this is the inquiry that's generated. So you can see like, Hey, this is what we're looking for. Customization specification. It did all of that for us without having to draft anything or reach out to anyone. And I just click send inquiry by linking my Alibaba account, click send now and I'm done. So it's not just finding products for us. It's looking through trends and it's helping us bring those products into the real world with the best suppliers out there. And this is one of those really cool applications of agents that are just starting to roll out. And the tool that we're about to build with this is the first of its kind and does automate with AI and with this agentic browser, more of the e-commerce process than has been possible before. And so in summary, if you are a small business owner or you are looking to be one, whether in e-commerce or anything else, then this Axio agentic workflow can help you find and source any products and convert your ideas for products into real trends, demos, and supplier connections. So you don't just have to be a e-com bro to use this. It is for all business owners and anyone who's looking to get their ideas out into the real world and connect with product suppliers. Okay, now it's time for the not so secret plan to build this end to end e-commerce agentic AI tool. So we want a tool or a product that end to end automatically identifies trending ideas and then brings us from the idea stage all the way through to the supplier stage. So we have a product idea, a concept specs, and then we have suppliers. So everything up to that point of let's press the button and get the initial products delivered to us. And the ideas need to be related. And this is the whole point to current trends. So my plan for this, and maybe it'll work, maybe it won't is to use Google trends. And you're probably familiar with that. It's that website. I'll put a little video up on the screen where you can see how, what people are searching for over time. A lot of people use it in e-com and there's a little Python library. I think it's called PY trends. And what that lets you do is see what's trending and what's changing on Google trends. So what we can do is we can scrape a whole bunch of very trending subjects or keywords. We can run that through, let's say GPT or some kind of AI API. And what that's going to do is filter those to identify the one that best fits into this model. That's going to be the idea. We're going to take the idea. We're going to generate a prompt for it. That's best for the Axio browser. And then we're going to feed that into the browser. And we're going to do all of this either with a cron job or with a GitHub 
uh, equivalent. We're gonna run all of this automatically and then hopefully send ourselves a link. So we'll end it with a little sideways link there that's sent directly to us to the project in the browser, the Agentic browser, with just the list of suppliers, you click send inquiry and we're done. That's what we wanna build, let's go do it. And as usual with the projects on this channel, everything immediately went south. So Google shut off access apparently to a lot of the Google Trends access. So I found this thing and got an API key and that seems to work, which is good. And then the whole login sequence and getting a bot to go click around and do that automatically turned out to be pretty annoying as well. So a workaround I rolled with is just to leave this tab open on my computer where I'm already logged in and then I can just forget about it. And since this is now locally run on my computer as opposed to through GitHub, then I am gonna run with a cron job to generate that report once per day. So I'll hit enter to run our little script. It should generate the prompt. There we go. It put it in the browser and now we gotta wait for the start button to show and let's see no mouse if it goes ahead and starts that for us. So there's the start now button and boom, it went ahead sent a message that says start the agent mode task and our AI agent now started the AI agent. And right now it looks like it is researching Stanley cup, tumblers, air fryer, accessories, yoga mats, Bluetooth speakers, and iPhone 15 cases. Anyway, I'm gonna go touch some grass and let this thing finish. So here's the final product ready with our products, our product designs, our trends, and the actual inquiries to send to the real world suppliers. Now I did put the main Python script here in a Google Drive folder in the description. So if you want access to that, you just head right down there, click that link and it's yours. So make sure to use my exclusive link in the description and use this promo code John Law to use Axio Agents full power today. There are only 100 slots available and this exclusive access expires in 30 days. So you just saw me in the future and right now I hope that all went well and we were able to actually build that thing and bring it to life. And hopefully you like the idea of Axio and it could really help Help you in what you do is related to e-commerce. So that said, this is another real world AI experiment in the books for the channel. If you like this theme, you can see others that are similar right here. So wherever you are in the world, I wish you a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.